Hello everybody, it is me, Zumat, and I am back with another Astroneer episode. And, oh my goodness, Christmas is like... Like what, like eight days away? It's crazy. So, um, since the previous episode, I have improved um, the solar tower. That's just still what I'm going to call it, despite the fact that there is a wind turbine. I just found that on some more space wreckage that I dug through off camera. But today, speaking of space... I'm going to see if I can get a shuttle today because, oh no, I really want to go to another planet because I actually haven't been able to do that on YouTube yet, but oh my gosh, there are so many steps that that we have to do. So this is going to be a very, I'm just going to be, I'm going to go as fast as possible, see if I can do this in one episode. So the first thing we need to do is if I take a look at my backpack here. I'm thinking of getting a large shuttle, which requires, or I mean the medium shuttle, which requires one aluminum alloy and two ceramic. And I already have some clay that we can use to make ceramic. You just need to smelt it. So we're going to need two clay. Oh no, I glitched it. Whoa, that was weird. I like glitched in the wall. Collision glitch. So let's see here. If I can grab, do I have any more clay? Okay, I see some. So I have some clay right here, and then the aluminum alloy is much harder to get. Oh, come on. Oh, no! Okay, wait, I can grab it. Okay, there we go. It's not lost forever. So while that smelts, we also are going to need the aluminum alloy, and to get that, I need to put aluminum and copper into a, um, I think it's a chemistry lab is right here so we are going to research that oh and that requires ceramic too so i'm going to have to grab one more clay from here and then get that smelting all right so i got those materials smelting behind me on the furnace but then i realized the um the chemistry lab requires tungsten and to get tungsten i have to go to another planet which means I do not have access to a chemistry lab, so I guess System Era has changed everything, made it a lot more difficult to get ha get our hands on the shuttles. So now, the only one we are- so we are stuck right now with the small shuttle, so I'm going to research it right now. And I believe I already have the vehicle bay by default. Oh no, I don't, so we'll have to research that. So I just need to get three compound and two aluminum. So. I've just wasted a lot of time. Okay, so I got my three compound and also two resin so that I can print a platform to put the vehicle bay on, but I remembered that there was some aluminum here, or titanite, whoops, that's titanium ore. But I'm pretty sure I found aluminum somewhere down here. Oh wait, what's this? I haven't actually looked at this a whole lot. Graphite, okay, so that's not really useful right now. Okay, there's the aluminum. So, one thing is that I forgot to address in the previous episode that I wanted to, is the Minecraft SMP will not be back for a while, just because um, anybody who has seen my latest episode will know that I was having some serious lag issues with the server, and that's because my computer cannot handle um, recording um, the game and also hosting a server for like one or two other people. And on top of that, it was just um, typically like uh, my friends and I would both end up, end up like taking turns hosting the server and stuff. But then like sometimes they wouldn't be at their computer and then we couldn't play or then we'd have to arrange a time then they'd host the server and then, then nobody would be available to play. So it was just a huge mess of a server that was never online when it needed to be. So we just decided to, I guess, um, well I decided to uh, stop the SMP for now. And it may not be back for a while because I'm thinking of using, I guess, like an online paid service so that it can be hosted 24-7. And then that way it'll just be, it won't be a nightmare to try to deal with the server. Um, but it is something I am considering. But by the looks of things with the current plan, now it's not set in stone. So the um, Astroneer, or not Astroneer, the Minecraft SMP might be back sometime around like the summer of 2019. But it's not totally set in stone. It might come back sooner, or, um, yeah, it just might come back sooner. But it will definitely be back by 
this summer of 2019. So that is just kind of a heads up for you guys that um, I guess my only gaming videos for a while might be Astroneer and maybe an occasional different game, but mostly Astroneer and animations on my channel for now. Or maybe like a non-SMP Minecraft video, I might end up doing those. Alright, so now we just need to get this thing researching that I found. And now we just need to start making a platform for my, um, what do you call it? My vehicle bay. So, let's make that right now. And while that is fabricating, I'm also going to need to smelt my laterite. I have all of these useless materials now. So, let's grab this and put it in. Whoa, that's weird. Smelter's not making any noise. That's where- oh! I just realized I'm running three of my four systems at once. That's probably, like, really straining the power. Um, okay, so... I guess we're going to, um, unplug this for now. We're gonna let this finish smelting. Is there only, like, one solar panel running? I think that might be part of the problem. Yep, that is the issue. We only have one solar panel running right now. So, we only have the power of one solar panel. And, wait, that's weird. This wind turbine is somehow generating power. But it's not spinning. That's weird. Never seen that before. But, yeah, for now it looks like we don't have a whole lot of power to use. So... I guess we'll just have to deal with that for a while. So, oh yeah, this has all of the power and it's still... You know what, we're just going to run all three systems at once. Just like this. And we are just going to let everything run and do its thing. And I guess I'm just going to go out and collect lots of research and resources while I wait for that to finish up. Okay, so I've gone caving for a while, and um, I realized when I was down there that I would need ammonium um, to make some rocket fuel, so that is something very good that I did. Um, so I also found a solid, what is this again? A solid fuel thruster. Now I'm not sure what that's for. It says that it can go to another planet, apparently, so I guess I will need to look that up, but now I need to get back to my base and see if everything is done. Alright, so, um, it looks like everything has finished while I was gone, like it should have, so we are going to unpack this large platform, like this, and I'm not sure where to put this, actually. You know what, we're going to, we're going to put it right here, I guess, for now. This is just a temporary spot. We're just gonna put it there and attach it right, whoop. Oh, that cable's gonna bother me. Oh, that's weird. It keeps on flipping. Whoops, that's not the right button. So, now I need my three aluminum, and whoops, my backpack is full of ammonium. So, I'm going to need my ammonium. And I also looked online, and apparently that solid fuel thruster is actually what I needed for the small shuttle, so it was very lucky that I came across that. So, I'm going to grab this, and I believe to make a, um, yeah, I believe I need three compound to make a, um, a vehicle bay. Yeah, it does require three compound, so if I go into here, yeah, there we go, we have three, and so now we can start printing that. And while that is printing, I'm thinking, oh, a solid fuel thruster Oh, it's good for a one-way trip to another planet. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get another one then. How do I make them? Let's take a look here. Alright, so it requires one aluminum and one ammonium. But, let's see here. Well, I'm going to need a second one anyway. So we might as well research it. So do I craft it here? I'm not really sure. Let's take a look through. Not there, so it must be here then. Yeah, there it is. So I need one ammonium and one aluminum to make it. So we are going to make a second one right there. Alright, so that may mean though that I am short one aluminum. 
to make my, um, my space shuttle, or whatever it's called. So, that is something kind of concerning, so I may need to go back down in the caves, unless I have some aluminum here. Alright, so I've returned from my second, I think my second caving expedition. I honestly don't know anymore, because I've gone down there so much. And it took me a while to find some aluminum, but I found a battery when I was down there. So I'm going to... Well, you know what? I should probably put it down here. So I'm just going to pop it here. Oh. Wait, is, does that... Okay, that requires a platform. So very quickly, I'm going to... Um, head over here. And I'm going to make myself a medium platform. And that requires resin. So let's grab some from down here. All right, we're gonna get that printing up very quickly, and then I can put my battery on it, which will definitely be really cool. So, we're gonna grab this cable plug. Um, we're going to grab this extender, and oh, I just realized, oops, I cut off the power. I took it down a bit too early. Okay, there we go, we're gonna let it finish now. Oh look, there's the, there's the tundra planet again. Or is that the exotic? No, I'm pretty sure that's the tundra just been kind of chilling out here the past uh, while, I guess. The past... That is actually very close. It's been getting pretty close lately. Like, throughout the previous episode, it was just coming by in the sky. Oh, no. I'm messing this all up again. Okay. So, now we just need to put this platform, I guess, right here. Put the battery on. And, oh, no. I messed it up again. So, we're gonna plug that in there. Then we need to plug this cable plug into that will let me come on doesn't want to go in for some reason well we're just going to need to grab this um grab this cable plug bring it here bring this here and ah oh, it's still a little too short so one more and boom we have power and now this thing is very slowly going to start recharging so either you know, this is taking a while, so either System Era made the batteries a lot better, so it take, so it can hold a lot more power, or I just have really cruddy power right now. It's probably just really awful power, but let's take a look here. We need to smelt my aluminum. And then, we need to figure out, you know, I feel nervous storing this by my base, so I'm gonna put it there. Um... I guess just kind of dig a hole for it over there. I know it's not placed on the ground, but it still makes me really nervous because it can still detonate, so let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to look over everything I'm going to need to take with me. So let's see here. Um, this is my thruster that I will use to return to the planet, so I will need to take that. This is my beacon so that if I ever go to that planet again, I can go to my base, which by the way, you know, um, the reason I'm going to another planet is so that I can get iron, so that I can start um, getting like some more advanced modules. So I actually will need to see which planet um, has the resources that I need. Alright, so I have looked online and it looks like Tundra will be the best choice right now. So that is what I'm going to go with. Now this, this battery is actually really long, has a really long life. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna, need a can I'm gonna need a canister so I can manipulate the terrain. I actually don't need this ammonium. Um, let's see here. Rocket for a return trip. A beacon so I can mark the spot that I land at. Um, not sure what this aluminum is for, but I will also need to bring a small fabricator with me, a small printer, which I believe it can, it can make a, um, let's see here. This can make a medium printer, which is this, yeah. So, we can take that with us so that we can start building a base. And, hmm, what else do we need, actually? You know what? I'm going to need this to make a small platform for... Oh, no, I'm falling. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm going to use this to create... Well, I need to step back a bit. Um, you know what? Let's make... Hmm. It's not here, I guess. 
we need this to do it. Oh, I guess not. Okay, so we're going to make a medium platform A. So let me just grab this. And there we go. All right, so now I can grab this. And hang on, if I make a if I make a medium printer, I'm pretty sure that that is in like the form of like something that I can put in my backpack, right? Here, let's find out. So I just need to grab two compound, then make a medium printer. Alright, so, okay, it is. So, we just need it to, um, to bring those two with us. So, now we have a small printer, our medium printer, and a platform to put that medium printer on. Um, then we have the soil so we can manipulate the surface, a solid fuel thruster so we can get back home when we are done with our journey. And we are going to need to grab the aluminum now. You know, where did I put my third aluminum? There it is. And what materials do we need to make it? Oh, just two aluminum. Wait. If it was only two aluminum, did I... Did I not need to collect more aluminum? Oh, that would really suck if I didn't. Okay, so that's printing the small shuttle. And... Wow, that's fast with that battery. That is actually an amazing battery. Tamara must have made him better. Alright, it looks like that storm's gonna pass us, so it's not gonna hurt us or anything. So now we just need to grab the solid fuel thruster and attach it to the bottom. And we need a seat, don't we? I believe we need to make a chair of some sort. But I'm just going to double check this. Let's see, beacon, medium printer, platform to put it on, the small printer. Uh, we don't really need the aluminum. Oh, I know what we need. We need a power source. So I'm just going to go up here and grab what I currently use for power because I do not want to go caving again for more resources. So I just need, you know, what should I grab? I'm just going to grab um, this solar panel. Um, I feel like a solar panel and a small wind turbine will do. And... Yeah, I think that might be everything for now. Oh, and I also... Let's take a look here. I also need a um, soil centrifuge so that I can, like, make tethers out of soil and stuff like that when I'm on that other planet. So if we look here, it costs two compound and one aluminum. Well, I think I have one spare aluminum, actually. Yep, one aluminum and two compound. So there's a compound, and right there is a compound. So we have what we need to make a soil centrifuge, and um, so whenever we land, we will make our printers. Then we will put. Then we'll set up our power sources, and then the beacon, and then we can use these two material, well, these three materials here in my backpack to then make a soil centrifuge. So then that way I can use this canister to collect more soil. And then I can use that to get like the basic necessities. And you know what? Then I can also get compound from that and then get organic out of it and then use that with the generator. So that's actually, that's actually really cool how that works. So now the last thing we need is a seat to sit in. Okay, everybody. So it looks like I'm going to need one more aluminum to actually get a seat and then have everything ready to go to the other planet. But I'm going to have to end the episode here because I'm really stretching the length of this episode. So yeah, this episode was mostly me just trying to figure out how to get to another planet because they've changed so much in Astroneer. I'm like still like having to google how to how like basic mechanics work as i as i go just because there's so much i there's just so much i don't know so 
I guess um, I'm not really sure what to say here other than I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!